Good morning and thanks for tuning in. My name is Michaela. I'm here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. And this morning I'm going to be taking you guys through one of our used inventory pieces. I'm really excited to show this one to you guys. That is one of my favorite setups that I've seen come through the law as far as the used head to head. I really like this one. It is a 2014 Welch Cherokee Super Chief model. It is, like I said, a four horse head to head model. It is 35 feet on the floor with a six foot front tack and then 29 feet in your stall space. So very maneuverable size trailer as far as head to heads go, still giving you that giant front tack. So I really like this one and I'm gonna go ahead and take you through it this morning. So we'll start up here at our front tack. It is gonna have a short wall on that side, I guess on either side at six feet. So it is very large and it does have one of our fold down steps down here, slides out. It gets it a little bit easier for you guys to step up into versus stepping up on this running board, which is kind of narrow. So it does have a step that you can go ahead and hide away too. This one does have, while I'm out here, a screen door on it. So if you needed to use it as a, a changing room or dressing room, maybe you have dogs you need to stick in there while you're showing or riding or anything like that, you do have a screen door on it to kind of keep some airflow, give them some ventilation. Or if you're changing your clothes and they're getting ready for a show or a rodeo, anything like that, you do have that. So that is nice to kind of just keep the breeze moving through here as well as the windows on your nose up there. We'll go ahead and climb in here and take a look. You do have two saddle trees in here with each of them are gonna have the three saddle racks on them. They are adjustable. You guys can see there's a pin underneath each one. And then there are additional holes throughout this tree. So you can slide them up and down wherever you want them. They are kind of high right now if you had a heavier Western saddle. If you do have an English saddle, it might be a little bit easier to throw those guys up there. Looks like they are removable too with the pin up at the top. So if you did just need to take these out and have a wide open space in here for your tack trunks, um, hay bales, shavings, if you're hauling horses, whatever you need to store in here. If you did want to take these out, you do have that option. There are bridle hooks behind them as well as on the sides. So lots of storage inside of this trailer. These are again, adjustable if you need to slide them up or down, but right now I think they're a good height to be able to store stuff underneath them too. You do have a carpeted gooseneck nose, drop wall and floor in this one. So having that screen door, if you did need to take a nap in here, spend the night, anything like that, you have the screen door, you have the windows, and then you have carpet. So it does make it a little bit nice in here. If you did need to spend some time or if you're changing your clothes, want to keep your feet clean, having the carpet is really nice. We're getting to our partition wall over there, which has fully carpeted too. There are bridle hooks up at the top here, and then you're going to have I like a blanket bar here for you could do some saddle pads if you don't want to keep them over here with your saddles I me i could see myself using this for winter blankets um sheets fly sheets magnet sheets anything like that those bigger ones i really like the size of that bar that is nice and sturdy and it's really long i just throw my saddle pads over there with my saddles and a fully carpeted partition wall so if anything does like your blanket straps your clips on your blankets or your buckles but bits, conchos, anything like that gets to rubbing up on this wall. It's not going to scrape it up. It's going to keep it really quiet for your horses on the other side of this wall. Just keep it looking a little bit nicer for you. And as you can see, there is a hole in this wall. We do have a door here. This door does have a mirror on it. So I guess if you are using this more as a dressing room, you can kind of make sure you're getting ready and going to be looking nice for that horse show or that rodeo. And then if you did need to get into your stall area, it does have that pass through door. So if you did need to check on animals or if you're going to be using this for storage, maybe you are camping out somewhere and you just want to let your dogs go out in here or store some equipment out in here and you want to get to it easier than going outside. If it is raining outside or anything like that, you do have this pass through door. So that is nice. Just another added feature trying to up. The, they really did upgrade this trailer very nicely. I really like the amount of space in this one, the setup with that pass through, your adjustable saddle trees, all those bridle hooks, the fully carpeted dressing room, the screen door. There are lights in there as well. And there is a closed bar. So again, and that fold out step. So lots of upgrades in this front tack. I really like this one, especially coming from 
like a horse hauler standpoint. I have hauled horses for the past couple years and just having, I know everyone likes to send their horse with stuff, whether it be hay, grain, pellets, or their tack equipment, maybe they're moving and they wanna send all that with you along with their horse. It is really nice to have that big of a space to be able to store stuff coming from a horse hauler standpoint or someone that has ridden English in the past, having all those big tack trunks, that's just a really great space for all of that. Work our way back to the side of this trailer. You got some tie rings going down the side here if you did choose to tie up on the side of this trailer. Um, maybe you are hauling horses and you had to unload one out of this box stall to get it out of the way while you unload some of the stalls. You can go ahead and tie them up there. I've definitely used that before. You are gonna have drop downs at the head on both sides and both stalls. So all four stalls are gonna have drops at their head. You're gonna have drop down jail bars too. And once we get inside, you guys will see, but there is a hay bag in front of your horses here. So if you did need to throw some more hay in that hay bag or step up on your running board and check on your horses, you can do that right from here versus having to drop down the ramp or climb in the door on the other side. So I really like that. Being able to check on them without having to really disrupt them and being able to feed them super conveniently. I think that's a really great setup there. And you do have the oversized sliding bus windows on their hip side, giving them optimal ventilation inside of there. We do have a side load ramp on this one as well as that rear load back there. So if you did want to use this middle box stall space as storage, you can be rolling tack trucks up into here, rolling carts, rolling those. I know they make like suitcases for hay bales. Be rolling those up in there. Or if you've got a wheelbarrow full of grain bags or buckets, that is nice having that additional ramp here if you are using that for storage or if you do need to load or unload with this ramp. I have done that for these front stalls. Like if you have these ones back here loaded and you need to get one of these off, you do have that option to take them off here versus having to unload the entire trailer. So me personally, I really love the versatility of these head to head trailers. Having been a horse hauler in the past and hauling with both a slant load and a head to head, these are by far my favorite, especially being, a, being the only one in the vehicle, having to be the only driver as well as the only person loading and unloading horses. Say you get to a stop, and you're fully loaded with a seven horse slant load, which is what I used, and your horse in that front slant is the one that needs to get off, and you got six head behind it, and you're all by yourself, middle of the night, or no one there is at the barn to help you, having to unload those six head, tie them all up on the sides of the trailers, hope they behave themselves while you get that one off to drop it off at its stop. It's just not an ideal situation for someone doing it by themselves, so hauling with one of these has been really made my life a lot easier and I know it could be great for you guys too if you are in that horse hauler setup or you do have those bigger oversized warm blood horses that are taller and they just need them more space in there or they ride better in a straight load. I really liked how my horses rode in a straight load when I was hauling. It was kind of tricky to teach them how to walk up the ramp, turn this way and then back into their stall. That was a lot harder for some of them to learn. It was tricky, but once they figured out how to back into that cubby hole and that it wasn't just gonna swallow them, they really enjoyed the space in there and riding that straight load direction and just having the feed right in front of them and then I could hang water buckets. So really nice setup with these trailers. Let's go ahead and climb up in here and show you guys what it looks like. Each stall is gonna have its own door. So you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about as far as giving one their space in there. There is a butt bar over that pass-through door and then each of them will have a butt bar and a chest bar. They are padded and the sides are padded. So they're gonna have a really nice cushiony stall to kind of bounce off of, as well as the feed bags that hang in front of them. And then you can go ahead and close that door too. Each one can close the door. And if you wanted to, what has worked really well for me is having these doors that do open and then being able to hang, like you can just walk up the ramp or you can use this space, walk in here and hang buckets on this door, on that inside, and then just go ahead and close it. And it puts the water bucket right in front of them. So that has been really nice for me on these types of trailers. And then we have the feed bags here for these two stalls. This one here already has it in it. So you guys can see this one. 
There's your feed bag there. You can see they are huge. See if that door will stay open. I can step in here for you guys. It is huge and it's gonna hang up right in front of them like this, really deep. You could store a lot of hay or grain in there for them. Keep them occupied as they're rolling down the road. And then you do have the chest bars. They have a pin which has a chain on it so you don't lose it. Very nice feature there because I've lost a bunch of those. Once you get this filled with shavings and you're sticking them in your pockets and then bending down, they could fall out. Not with that keeper. So really a nice upgrade there. Again, padding, padding everywhere. And then they have this entire space. So once they get backed up in here, they do have the airflow dividers as well. So they can kind of see each other rather than having to step into just a solid box. And then clipping that up in front of them gives them a ton of space. And then you have the head grills here, which are movable as well. If you did need to kind of get in here and feed them this way or water them this way, or you want to check on them or you need to quick get in there and do something. Lots and lots of versatility with these setups. I really like these for a lot of reasons. And I really like all the little little things that this previous owner thought about as she was building this trailer she just made it really nice does have the worm flooring in it guys that permanent rubber flooring that you guys have seen in a bunch of our cimarons it is in this trailer too so really nice to have that once you do get this bedded up with some shavings for your horses you don't have to worry about getting under the mats and having to deal with that at one of your stops so again, she thought everything through. This is a really well set up trailer. She did add a hay pod on this one too. As you guys step back and zoom out and see all that, there is a hay pod up top. It is a pod, it is not a rack. It has a roof on it. It is fully enclosed. So when you do store stuff up there, it will be watertight and it will protect your hay, grain, pitchforks, buckets, whatever you'll need to put up there for your travels. It is fully enclosed and will keep your equipment keeping nice. Go ahead and work our way back here towards this rear load option. Have a ramp back here as well as those 50-50 doors. So if you were loading these two horses back here, really easy to just walk these ones on like a normal trailer. And then what I have found works out really well with these types of setups if you are loading one that is kind of trickier once you get it in here, you can just duck under the chest bar and then you are safe out of that horse's way, but it gives you time to go ahead and get them tied up. You got your tie rings up here. You can go ahead and clip them with more of like a cross tie setup, that dual clips on each side to kind of keep them straight. You can use one as a hay net if you want to tie them up on one side, but once you get in here, you are safe. So you can get this horse in, get it tied up, get it fed, and then you guys can sneak out this way and sneak out the side ramp, sneak out the man door over there. It's just really nice having that feature to get out of the horse's way when you are by yourself and you don't know that horse if you are hauling horses or if it's one of your own that kind of tends to be a little bit chargy or getting on the trailer. Just run it on here, get out of here, and then you're out of the way. So same setup back here, airflow dividers, padded chest bars, butt bars, and side of the trailer. And a really good look at that worm flooring. This trailer has roof vents above all the stalls it's got lights above all the stalls and it also has been upgraded with fans too so there are switches over here on this corner post of the trailer for your lights and your fans so really optimal ventilation in this trailer with those bus windows the drops on the head side the airflow dividers the roof fence and the fans really don't have to worry about that get don't have to worry about your horses getting too hot inside of this trailer Stepping around to this side, you can see that ladder to climb up into that hay pod. Tucked over here on the side. Climb up into that hay pod and there is kind of a gate on the back too. So once you get up there, it is a pretty secure area. If you needed to strap down more stuff outside of that hay pod as well, there's quite a good bit of space up there. More tirings on this side. Again, you're gonna have your drop for that head side for this horse and then as well as that horse on this side, instead of that side little ramp, you're gonna have this man door here. It is locked open right now, so you guys can kind of see. It does close. And it actually has two locking mechanisms on it. So it's gonna have a normal door handle like that with a lock, 
but it's also going to have this just in case you do use that as a box stall for a smaller horse or a pony i know when i was hauling horses with my head to head it was set up just like this with that side ramp and then your people door here and i had i would run ponies in that stall so having that just just knowing that it is closed and they're not going to build a this mechanism's not going to fail and pop open and have loose ponies on the road having that secondary locking mechanism is very nice and just peace of mind there's going to be a chest bar here as well so if you did end up putting anything in this stall and then you need to jump up in there and check on them you can still get under here and then they're not going to get out unless of course it is a pony but you got to watch those little ones but still just nice having this instead of having to drop down that side ramp or come through that pass through door you do have a third entrance to this stall area so getting in here to feed and water like i said really nice being able to open each stall front throw the hay in there hang that bucket around that divider and then just closing it right in front of them that way you're not having to load or unload or disturb them or have to get through these drop down windows you do have that option to be checking on them but as far as filling hay and water it makes your life so much easier having this type of setup again this one is a 2014 but as you can see it is very clean it is a very well kept trailer lightly used well taken care of has been through our shop so our shop has gone through and kind of checked it out to make sure it's structurally sound for you guys brakes bearings hubs all that stuff has been looked over all the dividers latch every single little piece on this trailer is functional another upgrade that she did as you can see up on the front of this trailer is that electric jack there just having that convenience of pushing a button to have it go up and down is really nice especially when you are by yourself really nice having that versus having to crank it up if you are in the dark by yourself it's cold outside <laughs> i really like those can't go wrong with one of those you do have the batteries for it and then you do have a spare tire on here as well we will when we get used to trailers and we are going to make sure that all tires are within five years of date they are all a matching tire and they all have good tread on them so just you will know that you have a trailer that is set up and ready to rock and roll as soon as you leave our lot so if you are interested in this trailer each one is going to have its own stock number on it with a little sticker up on the front so if you do come walk the lot you can go ahead and check these out it has a qr code you can scan it and see the web page for this trailer this stock number is going to be 5u221911 and it is that 2014 cherokee four horse gooseneck head-to-head -head model could throw a couple more ponies in there so it could be more than a four horse but again i was really excited to show this one to you guys i love these trailers for hauling for oversized horses just for the versatility and the convenience and the easy use of this one it is just a really really well set up trailer so if you guys are interested in it go ahead and use that stock number and then you can reach me directly my name is michaela geis my cell phone and my email will show up on your screen my cell phone you can call or text me whatever you prefer that phone number is 303-918-6367 and then my email address michaela period geis at transwest.com i look forward to helping you guys out and talking more about this trailer with you hope you guys have a great day and happy valentine's day